Hi, I'm Chris Watts. Cloud service providers are companies that offer network services, IT infrastructure, or business applications in the cloud. The cloud services are hosted in a data center that can be accessed by companies using network connectivity. And the benefit of using a cloud service provider comes in greater efficiency and economies of scale as companies and individuals no longer need to build infrastructure to support internal applications, but can rent this from a CSP. But the industry faces challenges such as scalability into new markets and uh, ensuring greater supply chain efficiencies. So in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the current state of the CSP industry. We're going to be interviewing Digital Realty, a large data center operator, as well as Annexter, the network and cabling solutions provider, to find out more about the state of the CSP industry, its opportunities and its challenges. So what is the present state of the CSP industry? Where is the industry now and where is it headed? Uh, so Digital Realty is a global provider of data center co-location and connectivity solutions uh, where we design, build, own and operate 200 plus data centers across 14 countries and on five continents. Uh, when it comes to my role as CFO, I just uh, passed my fourth year as CFO. I uh, spent a prior life uh, in investment banking uh, uh, from the early days of the company's existence, helping it grow uh, and it finance itself. Uh, my, uh, my remit is really across the entire uh, commercial spectrum uh, for our customers on a global basis uh, to capital raising, financial planning analysis, accounting, tax and treasury, uh, and some of the more customary uh, CFO responsibilities that go along with being a public company. The current state of the, the industry, be it cloud or data centers, really still feels like uh, early innings, uh, depending on what your uh, international sports parlance, I think that works on multiple uh, continents and countries. Um, it's early innings in terms of these cloud service providers rolling out new and incremental services. It's early innings in terms of new markets, uh, new countries, uh, and it's especially early innings uh, when it comes to overall cloud adoption, uh, IT outsourcing, the moving from uh, the proverbial server closet, our on-prem location, to a multi-hybrid location. I'm Neil Roberts, and I'm a sales manager for Annexter in Europe, Middle East, and Africa for our global accounts working in the cloud and hyperscale technology sector. So I think the cloud service provider industry right now is evolving at a rapid rate. It's, uh, it's gaining maturity, uh, but it's still finding its feet. Um, but there's tremendous opportunities moving forward, uh, especially with new technologies coming along, uh, such as uh, autonomous vehicles, Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. Um, so I think organizations that will have the capability to capture, analyze, and uh, really utilize that data uh, are gonna be in a great position to capitalize on that and, and they'll have a, a bright future in this industry, I'm sure. What are the main opportunities and the main challenges today facing CSPs? I think the main uh, opportunities and challenges somewhat go hand in hand. Um, you have what you could describe as boundless potential growth. Um, today's applications are uh, that reside within our four walls, uh, be it with one of our cloud service providers that's a customer or one of our uh, outsourced uh, corporate enterprises are typically uh, what are running business uh, today. So think of uh, uh, email suites from top cloud service providers or HRS files or trading solutions uh, uh, or the whole host of what's running business today. Uh, tomorrow's data center and tomorrow's cloud service providers uh, will have a whole host of new technologies, whether it's artificial intelligence, uh, uh, applications to sponsor autonomous vehicles, augmented or virtual reality, and the overall commercial internet of things. The growth of that data is quite boundless uh, and it's bits and bytes, so it really lives in a non-physical world, uh, but 
the big misnomer is the cloud doesn't float up into the ether, it actually sits inside a server. So some of the challenges they're facing are that there's uh, obviously increased competition for them, there's more uh, organizations entering into this marketplace, uh, and also speed to market is, is critical for them. So they need to be able to create some unique propositions to differentiate themselves and also find ways to rapidly deploy infrastructure so that they can really get to market quicker and start generating that revenue sooner. With regards to supply chain and logistics, what efficiencies can CSPs introduce to optimize supply chains, better scale their business into new markets and minimize build time for new data centers? The supply chain is, is very important for our business. So when a customer wants to do business here in London, uh, Singapore, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, uh, or Chicago in the States, uh, they have that seamless experience operationally, form a contract procurement experience, and one responsible party. Um, that's key for them uh, because many of these companies are trying to grow and bring on new markets and grow in existing markets at the same time. Uh, and doing that across all these different uh, countries with their different nuances uh, is quite challenging. So these areas relating to supply chain and scalability and speed to market are all absolute sweet spots for Annexter where we have a lot of uh, value to bring into this marketplace. Um, when, where we trade with these organizations, we find if we can get a full electronic trading platform with them, this can provide tremendous efficiencies for them. It can help them reduce their, their vendor base, uh, their vendor management, uh, and efficiencies in terms of uh, financial cost for transaction and so on and so forth. So that's certainly an area where we can bring a lot of efficiencies there to help these sort of organizations. Uh, we have a catalog based uh, approach to them sourcing their, their, their products. Um, and, and it's all about creating that efficiency to increase speed to market. Uh, we can help reduce lead times through the vendor management and lead time reduction of course is a massive aspect of uh, the data center build in particular and helps with the scalability um, in moving materials around the world faster and uh, using our network of logistics capabilities globally is where we can bring a lot of efficiencies to scaling these organizations around the world and uh, helping them move into new markets, new regions, uh, creating new opportunities for them at a much faster pace. Turning now to 5G, could 5G be the new edge? What's going to be the impact of 5G on the CSP industry? So 5G is going to be tremendously exciting. Uh, it's going to be generating uh, tremendous amounts of new data that's going to need to be managed in the cloud service provider sector. And with the advent again of autonomous vehicles and Internet of Things, uh, 5G is absolutely fundamental to that and will be revolutionary in terms of how uh, data is, is moved around at that edge uh, of the network. And yes, I think there will be a new uh, edge layer created uh, where we have perhaps thousands of data centers, we're having to manage in the future billions of data endpoints at the edge. And so in between, there needs to be some additional uh, compute layer uh, providing storage and, uh, and managing the compute closer to those endpoints. Uh, some are terming that now as, as fog, a fog node. So we're coming from cloud to fog and the fog nodes will be that intermediate uh, point closer to the edge and will connect to the internet backbone increasing the uh, speed and, and reducing the latency. So very exciting times for cloud service providers as a result of 5G. 5G is something exciting certainly for our industry uh, and we have a very exciting name to go with it be it edge. Uh, kind of marries well with uh, cloud and also fog in between. Uh, really what I think it's going to be is incremental use cases and applications uh, and workloads for our customers to extend their business uh, both on a business side and also on a consumer side. Uh, commercial Internet of Things, uh, incremental devices picking up uh, readings uh, around the globe, uh, that, those data uh, getting transmitted back through our Internet gateways, our most latency sensitive network dense and customer dense locations, but all, ultimately coming back to a cloud compute uh, that likely sits within Digital Realty's uh, global campuses across our major metros. Well, that's it. This is Chris Watts of Future Banking. Thanks for watching.